Hey, welcome to another Technology Paul video. You all know that I love to review subscription services. I've reviewed Spotify, Apple Music, Netflix, Disney Plus, and more. But today we're gonna get a little bit meta and review YouTube Premium. YouTube Premium was released in 2018, though there was a previous iteration of the service called YouTube Red since about 2015. And here's the thing, as of last year, there's now 50 million YouTube Premium subscribers. So yeah, it's a super popular service, as is YouTube itself. But is it worth it? I mean, YouTube is already free, so why pay for it? Well, let's get into the features and the benefits and the pricing and break it down. All right, so first we should explain for those who don't know, what is YouTube Premium? Well, YouTube Premium is a paid subscription service offered by YouTube, and with a subscription, you can watch YouTube videos without advertisements, play videos in the background on your mobile device, download videos for offline viewing, and use YouTube Music Premium to listen to music ad-free and offline. Let's start with ads. I think most people get YouTube Premium because quite frankly, they're fed up with the ads. The number of ads that appear on YouTube videos can vary widely depending on a variety of factors, including the content of the video, the target audience for the video, and the location of the viewer. In general though, YouTube serves ads before, during, and after videos. These ads can be in the form of skippable or non-skippable pre-roll ads that appear before the video starts, mid-roll ads that appear in the middle of the video, and post-roll ads that appear after the video has finished. Some YouTube videos may also have banner ads or overlaid ads that appear on top of the video while it's playing. There's also banner ads in the search results. As a creator, I have some control over the amount of ads my viewers see. But the thing is, it's sort of against my own interest to tell YouTube not to show you ads. Well, this feature of YouTube Premium is pretty straightforward. It just gets rid of all the ads. The thing about YouTube is there's so many ads that it makes getting rid of them quite satisfying. YouTube, if you consider it a streaming service and compare it to other ad supported services, would be by far the worst in terms of quantity of ads to general content. A lot of people think the ads are getting out of control, but the thing is everyone loves YouTube and it has an unassailable lead in the market for user generated long form video content. I've been using YouTube Premium for a couple of years now and I forget that YouTube is supposed to have ads. Sometimes I end up on YouTube and I'm not signed in and I realize it immediately because I start watching a video and all of a sudden I'm right in the middle of an unskippable ad. Here's why it's important for me to not have ads. For one thing, I watch YouTube passively a lot of the time, not usually on my mobile device, but often on my Google Nest Hub Max while I'm cooking or doing dishes or whatever. It's easy to move your thumb an inch to the left to click skip if you're on your phone phone, but it's obviously pretty annoying to reach across the counter every five minutes to do the same action. I'd probably watch a lot less YouTube if I had to do that all the time. Secondly, our kid loves YouTube. I think that's pretty common. There's all kinds of great content for kids on YouTube as well. If my son sits down to watch YouTube and sees a bunch of ads, I don't love that mostly because I don't want him asking for a bunch of new toys. Now, to be fair, I think there's little to no ads on the YouTube Kids app, but he sometimes logs in on the TV where ads would be present. And another reason, my partner and I often do workouts on YouTube and it would really disrupt our flow if we had to stop working out to skip an ad. I know getting rid of ads would be less important for some people, but for me, it's the key factor. Now, another thing that you can do with YouTube Premium is you can play videos in the background while doing other things on your phone or while your phone screen is off. Normally, if you move away from the YouTube app, you have to stop watching the video. But with premium, you'll actually continue to hear the audio. Now you might ask why you'd want to do that and there's a few reasons. Number one, multitasking. Playing videos in the background allows you to do other things on your phone while the video continues to play. For example, you might wanna to listen to a video while you send emails, browse the web, or play a game. Number two, audio only. If you only wanna to listen to the audio of a video anyways, and you don't need to watch the video itself, well, you can do that. Especially if the video is actually a video podcast where it's just people talking. You may not care about the actual video. And number three, music videos. There's a ton of music videos on YouTube and often they're mixes or compilations that people wanna to listen to in the background while they're working, studying, and so on. And you can do that on your phone with YouTube Premium. 
We've talked about background videos, but what about offline videos? Well, this feature is perfect for plane rides or times when you won't have service available. And it allows you to download videos that you can watch offline later. To download a video on YouTube Premium, open the YouTube app on your mobile device, find the video that you want to download, then tap the download button below the video. And that's it. YouTube will download the video to your device in the background. Once the video has finished downloading, you'll be able to watch it offline by going to the library tab in the YouTube app and selecting downloads. The video will be available to watch it until you delete it from your device. But what if you're planning to go on a plane trip and you remember to do everything except take the time to find videos to download and you only realize this once you're on the plane? Well, in comes Smart Downloads. With this feature, YouTube will automatically keep a downloaded cache of videos for you to watch based on your recommended content. This way you've always got something to watch and that's smart. Okay, the last feature of YouTube Premium isn't really YouTube, but actually a separate service called YouTube Music Premium. YouTube Music Premium is a paid subscription service offered by YouTube that allows users to listen to music on YouTube ad-free and offline. It is separate from the regular YouTube service and is focused specifically on music-related content. Essentially, it's like Spotify or Apple Music. With a YouTube Music Premium subscription, you can listen to music on YouTube without ads, download music for offline listening, use the YouTube Music app to play music in the background on your mobile device, and play music on your home devices, such as smart speakers and TVs. So essentially by subscribing to YouTube Premium, you get a music subscription at the same time. This means you can potentially get rid of your other music subscriptions. For example, you may not need Spotify if you have YouTube Music. Now my understanding is that YouTube Music isn't quite as good as Spotify. With Spotify, you have better music recommendations, you have a somewhat larger total library of music, and apparently the audio quality is just a little bit better, although I don't really notice the difference. On the other hand, YouTube Music, because it's so closely related to YouTube itself, has tons of music videos. So if that's something you're into, you might actually prefer YouTube Music. So far, YouTube Premium sounds pretty good, right? But is it worth the price? Here's what it costs. You can get YouTube Premium for $11.99 Canadian per month, and I highly recommend you sign up on YouTube's website rather than on your phone. Through the App Store, it actually costs $12.99 because, of course, YouTube is gonna have to pay that Apple tax. Buy your mom an iPhone. <laughs> That said, if you're a student, you get it for $6.99 per month, and if you want a family plan, it's $22.99 per month, and you can add up to five family members. To be honest, the pricing for YouTube Premium is a bit more expensive than other services. For example, Disney Plus is $11.99 a month for the whole family. I pay for the family plan on YouTube, and I cringe every time I see that $23 charge. So is it worth it? Well, I think that answer is going to depend on you and your YouTube needs. Overall, YouTube Premium is a solid choice for users who want an ad-free and feature-rich YouTube experience. While the cost may be a deterrent for some users, the ability to watch videos without ads and use additional features such as background playback and offline viewing can be well worth the price for many others. For our family, it's worth it. We likely watch an unhealthy amount of YouTube in our family, so quite honestly, getting of the ads is the main reason we pay for the service. I generally don't use YouTube Music as we have Apple Music already and the offline and background video are essentially just bonus features. I'm curious what you think of YouTube Premium. Although it's a very popular service, most people on YouTube actually don't subscribe to Premium. Have you tried it though? And was it worth it for you? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, click that like button and consider subscribing for more content on tech and subscription services. And as always, thanks for watching Technology Paul. We'll see you in the next one.